Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you what's inside coaxial or TV cable and how you can get materials that you can salvage and repurpose for future projects. I love taking things that many people consider could disposable and finding how I can turn it into another creation or at least materials for another creation. A lot of people have old TV cables hanging around and I do. I'm one of those people. So you can take the jumpers, the connectors, etc. and sometimes they're white, sometimes they're black and start cutting into them to get some good parts. All you need is a knife, some wire cutters and pliers and you're good to go. I'm gonna do this on a tray that I actually made salvaging a laundry basket in a previous video because as you can see there's some pieces here that are tiny that are gonna come out everywhere and you want to keep this mess a little bit contained. If you don't have a tray like this that you can do it on, I almost recommend using it on your garbage can that you use for the house before you put it out to the curb. That way all the leftover pieces go straight into the trash. First, we're going to grab the TV cable that we're going to use and cut off the connectors on each end. I'm actually going to walk you through two types of cables that I've used and show you what each looks like on the inside. So I'm going to start by getting a knife and slicing off a piece of the outer plastic sheath on one end of this. That way we have something to hold on to as we begin to work through it. You'll notice right here we actually have a copper mesh that's a wire mesh wrapped around. This is the first sheath that you'll find on the inside that's a conductive sheath that's used as part of this connective cable. In total with these cables, you're actually gonna have a four different layers. Two layers are conductive and two layers are insulation. We need to start with a knife and cut a little slit down the entire length of this outside plastic wrap, which is the outer layer of insulation. The funny part is, once I went to videotape, it actually took me a lot longer than normal to do this. Usually I can stick a knife in one spot and then just pull the cable all the way along. This one I had wrapped up a little bit too tight and was harder to do that. So, little user tip. If you have your cable stretched out straight for a while first, it makes it much easier to make the length a slit. Prefer that stick and pull method anyway because it's a lot safer with your hands, a lot less likely to get an un unnecessary nick on a finger or something. And uh, much, much safer way to go. Now that you have a score line or a cut down the lengthwise portion of this cable, all you have to do is go back to the area where you cut a little bit off at the end, pull it away from the core, and grab it with a pair of pliers. You're going to grab that core section with your hands and start to pull. Once you have it going, it's really easy and you don't need the pliers anymore. You can just literally separate this from the outer sheath by hand. This cable has that copper sheet that we need to remove that I was telling you about, but also I mentioned there is another type of cable, and I showed you that in the picture here, where there is a more of a metallic kind of a mesh on there that is covering typically a foil wrapping of sorts. The nice thing about any of these is if you just start to pull on the plastic core, the sheath will slide off. It's pretty easy to do. What you're left with is actually something really kind of fun. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can use it for, but right now you've got a hollow tube that is nothing but a copper mesh. What you're left with here is a great copper wire that's covered in plastic. This is the inner dielectric insulator. What you see here is the usable material you can get from both kinds of the cable. In fact, I've used this for things like electromagnets, and I've even melted it down in my mini refractory and crucible that I made. That's going to be in another video. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.